Okay, I carried a lot of a lot of textbooks in my back in my back back in the day, so I should be prepared for oh my Hi, my name is Julian and I'm an SCDF NS man and I'm here to bring you around Excel or basically the Emergency Responders Fitness Conditioning and Enhancement Lab. Now this lab is an integrated research and development and training facility that aims to enhance the performance and capabilities of the SCDF, along with any other emergency responders across the home team. Now, curious about what new technologies lies in this seminar? Well, don't worry. Come with me. I'll show you around. Follow me. This is the Strength Conditioning and Rehabilitation in Virtual Environment Lab, or the STRIVE Lab for short. Its main feature is this giant dome that provides a 360 degree immersive experience that helps evaluate a responder's performance so as to make sure he is in peak condition in training and operations. Look at that! Those moving graphs on the wall are actually showing real-time analysis of his gait and muscle activation. This is really useful in predicting his fatigue rate or injury risk. Moving on. Now, you guys can't feel it right now, but this room is, whew, it's very warm. With a temperature range of about negative 10 to 80 degrees Celsius and a humidity range of 20 to 100%, this heat lab simulates the conditions that our frontliners may face on the ground. This is to ensure that they are well prepared for any sort of physical exertion in harsh environments. Now, if you excuse me, since I'm here, I might as well try it out. Nah, just like carrying groceries. Okay. Let's pick up the pace. And here we are at the breathing apparatus maze. This is a search and rescue obstacle course with configurable modules. Now, as you can see right over here, one of the obstacles that we are seeing right now is the entanglement area. This is a course ensuring that the scenario can get more challenging as it goes along. Now obviously, all these realistic challenges are crucial for, our, for us to be as ready as possible to take on real life frontline operations. Oh no, um, <laughs> I, um, I think I'm stuck. Um, hello? Anyone there? Hello? Anyone? Help me! Please! Ah, welcome to the Fitness Evaluation Lab. This is the area where our frontliners can further assess their fitness levels through stuff like speed, agility, and strength. Through the various test stations, our frontliners will know which areas they should focus on to keep their fitness in tip-top level. Look what I found, guys, in the fitness evaluation lab. It's a dynamometer. It measures grip strength. I'm the strongest man Ah, my favorite lab. This is the digital learning lab, and it uses extended realities to simulate training in different situations, like for example, fire investigation, pump operations, and road traffic accidents. Now this is where the fun begins. 
The ambulance and fire engine driving simulator allows us to experience and prepare for different situations while also being in a safe environment. Whoa, it actually feels like I'm driving. Hey, sir, please give way to the emergency vehicles, please. And that concludes our tour of Excel. As you can see, innovation is part of our DNA in the life-saving force. And that SCDF is always willing to develop its technologies further to ensure that the performance of our emergency responders are always maintained at the highest level. So with that, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Goodbye!